What is up guys, I by Help here, and today Apple released iOS 10 Beta 8 to developers and iOS 10 Beta 7 to public beta testers. You can download it right now over the air, and if you're getting this error message here, don't worry, you're not alone, it's happening, it's a widespread issue, hopefully it gets resolved really, really soon. If you're updating from 7 to Beta 8, you could be seeing this error message, so just be patient, this could be fixed. I had to go ahead and download the software from Apple Developer Portal and restore it with iTunes in order to get Beta 8 on my device. Besides those issues, there isn't any new features added to the software or anything that I can find that is different from previous betas. And for those of you who are interested, the build number is 14A5346A. And I did run a quick Geekbench test on this latest beta because there is a drastic change on the newest iPhone to support the iOS 10 beta 8. As you can see here, the single core score is 2455 for iOS 10 beta 7. And if we switch on over here to iOS 10 beta 8, it's 2521. So a decent increase there on performance for single core score. And a look at the multi-core score, 4256 in comparison to 4403. So great job there from Apple improving the performance. I'm also going to be talking about the iPhone 5 here in a few seconds to show you guys what the performance looks like but everything else seems to be running as you would expect again no new features i found so far if you guys find any new features leave them in the comments section down below no new wallpapers no dark mode or no additional touch id features nothing like that but everything seems to be running just fine i do want to test quickly that one glitch i've been sharing with you guys with the control center where you go into landscape mode and then you toggle on the rotation lock and when you switch it over this is still here let's go ahead and test it out and yes, that glitch is still there. It looks like it's here to stay. Hopefully Apple addresses this. So let's go ahead and quickly shift our attention here to the iPhone 5 and show you guys the performance. If you've been following my coverage on iOS 10 betas, you already know that the first image up at the top left is going to be beta 1. And the last image at the bottom is going to be beta 8, today's release. And if you can see here, we have a steady score coming through all the latest betas that have been released as you can see there are two points is the increase on the single core score and on the multi-core score we dropped about five points i wish i had additional features and things to share with you guys but it just doesn't seem like apple is putting anything new out they seem to be focusing on under the hood improvements and bug fixes hopefully before ios 10 is released to the public we'll see new wallpapers and we'll see final features being added to the software but as of right now it looks like apple is going to stick with what they're giving us at this point but anyway guys this was a quick video on the latest version of ios ios 10 beta 8 if you enjoyed the video like always don't forget to click that like button much more videos come your way make sure to stay tuned it's been either help and i will catch you guys on the next one peace